What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Jack Finley with us play Shining Force: The Legacy of Great Intentions. Uh, inten yeah, Intentions Part One. This is the first Shining Force game in the series. The second, I, I guess you could say, in the uh, in the Shining games. Uh, the first being Shining in the Darkness, uh, but it is a different play style than this. And uh, one of Sega's a better known RPG series. They're, you know, Sega, kind of like with uh, Nintendo, are what were back in the 90s well known for making RPGs. Well, Shining Force is one of those RPGs that. Uh, or Sh Shining Force was one of those RPGs that Sega was really well known for, as well as Fantasy Star, but that, that came out. Uh, the Fantasy Star series started in, I want to say, 87 or, eight, or 88. And concluded around 90 to 91, depending on when the, the series started. But uh, uh, you can see here, this is just explaining the backstory to this. And I had forgotten that, that it started so quickly. I was going to read uh, what was going on here, but thankfully the message uh, screen is going by s uh, slow enough that you could easily read it without me having to read it for you. But I will be reading everything else pretty much in the game except for this now you see these uh, these portraits here these are for enemies that we will be facing later on in the game uh, a lot later on in the game to be totally honest looking at what the enemies are now yeah we, we, we won't fight these until towards the I say the 80% mark in the game you see uh, Sega and Sonic and Climax uh, Sonic being what uh, Camelot turned out to be so uh, wow dark dragon ancients let's see now what else does this old book say hmm 1,000 years ago have passed since I'm sorry 1,000 years have passed since they vanquished dark dragon and this book says dark dragon threatened to return right about now I bet anything that dark dragon is behind the evil hordes of rune Faust I need to tell someone about this but who would listen to a kid like me I think Dark Dragon's coming back. Will you help us? Come on, it'll be an adventure. So, uh, if you have a save file uh, in this game already, I'm playing the uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection version, which is the PS3 version. If you have a save file on this, uh, you can hit continue. But right now, all I have is new. And you have three save slots. You can choose one, two, or three. I will choose one. And now... Like with a lot, like with a lot of RPGs, you can name the character whatever you want. But the, this character does have a default name, and that's the name that I'm going to use. So, if you want to find the default name, do not put any letters into the the name. You can see you can put one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Uh, it looks like eight characters in there. But we'll just hit end, and the default name is Max. Uh, come back often and tell me everything you need to get going. Evil spreads farther across ruin with every passing day. And yeah, you see a saving. So chapter one, Rune Faust Invasion. Uh, so this is split up into chapters. Uh, Max, Max, come on, kid, wake up. I didn't hit you that hard. Keep your guard up, kid. Those beasts of Rune Faust will tear you to pieces. Okay, that's enough for today. You better take it easy for a while. And so, uh, you can see it is a a sprite-based game, like with a lot of games back in the 90s. And you can uh, move around one square in any direction, pushing the, or you can you can hold it down to move a while, or you can just tap it, uh, tap it to move left, right, up or down in one square, or you can hold it to make it move faster. And so the only thing we can do is just continue going, then we'll be stopped by him. Well, Max had enough swordplay for today. I don't know how you keep at, at it hour after hour. I'm dead tired after fi about 15 minutes. And so if you see characters that have portraits like uh, this character did and uh, he did, they are important characters. You have the makings of a great fighter, Max. You'll be tested soon enough. Lord... Varios, the king has sent for you. You must come at once. Of course, lead the way, guardsman. I fear the worst, Max. Prepare yourself for true battle immediately. And uh, what I was saying about the characters that have portraits, 
uh, they will either they are either playable characters or they are just important story characters in the game. Now you can explore around, you know, you can look at bookshelves. This is the only bookshelf that I'm going to do, but to look at a bookshelf, you go up to it and hit search. And path to master swordsmanship, warrior techniques, and many more books. So each bookshelf will have at least two book titles, and then they will not. Uh, then they will not have any more. I'll take a look at these real quick. The light and the darkness. How green was my dragon? And many more books. So like I said, I'm not going to be doing that, and I'm not going to talk to uh, characters. But uh, you talk to them. How you talk to them is just go up to them, hit the X button, and hit, talk to them. I'm sick of feeling helpless. I'm going to ask Varios to train me to be a fighter. And as you can see, this is the priest. Right now, he won't do anything for us. And we'll just hit yes. Evil creatures roamed our halls. It seems so real. So, uh, you know, you know pretty, pretty standard RPG stuff. You can go around and search, uh, search things, but uh, not everything has something to find. So it's uh, best if, you know, if just to save time, I I know where almost everything is, so I'm not going to waste time searching around and useless stuff. You can now for this to get, to advance the story, you can come up here to the castle, or you can go back down and explore in the town. There's nothing to find in the town right now. Everything is kind of leading you towards the castle. And if you come over here, uh, you can talk to these knights, and they're just kind of walking around. Can, uh, uh, these are the castle guards. And so some of them will say, it will be mean to you, some will just complain about being tired. Now if you come over here, uh, you can talk to this particular guard. These are my quarters, find someplace else to sleep. Uh, I swore that was the, the right guy I was supposed to talk to. Or, no, okay, no, that's, that's right, it's, it's after this. Uh, to actually have that start, uh, something start up, you have to... Uh, go in here and talk to the to the king that is the story of Arios hmm. then your majesty we have no choice but to send Max a young fighter oh Max good I was going to look for you first listen to the king so let's talk to the king for centuries our people have watched the gate of the ancients as it as its guardians beyond that gate lies we know not what not even if it's of the light or of the darkness but the ancients knew, and they sealed it beyond the gate and set us as guards. Now we find that we may have failed in our mission, for our reason for existence. Signs have been seen that forces of Rune Faust are at the gate of the ancients. Whatever evil they are or planning, we must stop it at all costs and at once. But we must not panic people, a small group of young but skilled warriors. Yes, he could do it. He could leave town unnoticed and have a chance to succeed, perhaps. Yes, no, I agree. Max, will you take the task? You have to, so we'll just say yes. Very well, now return to town and gather your troops. Come back when you're ready. So, uh, nothing to explore in here. And then you can talk to this guy. Why you, why couldn't I lead the Shining Force? And then he'll come out here and What's that, troops? I can't hear you louder. Sir, yes, sir. And then the, the, everyone will just say, sir, yes, sir. And you can see they're in a, uh, a ranked formation. Uh, but like I said, there's nothing to really uh, find right now. Greetings, Max. I am May, Varios' daughter. The other knights feel that father has wasted his time on you. We shall see. King seems very worried. Do you know why? Well, you young people think you know everything. Uh, yes, yeah, so th there's nothing to explore right now. Uh, most of it won't happen until after uh, after these first couple battles when we have to come back to town. Wait, Max Nova sent us. We're going with you. I am Luke the Warrior. Ken the Knight at your service, Max. I'll follow wherever you lead. I am. Tao, I'm only an apprentice magician, but I'll do my best. I am Hans, an elven archer. I'm coming, but don't put me in the front lines, okay? And so, uh, e each character, you, if you notice there, has their own 
has their own strengths and weaknesses, and I'll talk about that once I get into the battle. And so Lo joins the Shining Force. He is a healer. And maybe I won't uh, talk about uh, what's going on, but uh, let me see. Uh, we, we, we have to go back and talk to the king. There's nothing else we can do right now outside of just exploring wise, but we can't buy any supplies right now because we have no money. So we'll go back and talk to the king. And he'll give us 100 coins to buy whatever we need. Right now, this early on in the game, there's nothing that we can really buy that will actually help us outside of healing supplies. And I, I will uh, show that off real quick and uh, pick, pick up a few things. And so if you see this sign right here, and I'll search it real quick, weapon and item shop. So uh, there is no way to distinguish a weapon or an item shop from that sign. You just have to look for it. And, uh, ah, real quick. Hey, watch it, pal. How do you like it if I try to run you over with a card? Like I said, there's, there's nothing to, to explore around here, just uh, talking to people. And this is, uh, I believe this is the house of a character that, we'll, that we will get later on, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he's up here. Uh, we we, can, we cannot get him right now. It, it's later on that we can get him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's a, a character that we will get uh, later on, but right now take a look at the weapons. Oh, I guess you can't, can't buy any weapons right now. So he, this is an items uh, dealer. You can see you can buy, sell, repair broken items, or deals if there's anything special, but we, they, we won't see any special items until about halfway through the game, so we're not going to worry about that right now. You see medical, medical herb, heals, 10 points of health, healing seed, I think does 20, and then angel wing is used to come back to the, uh, to town, wh whichever town you're at, uh, the main character has a, a, a magic spell that can do that, so I, I will never, I will never buy an angel wing or use an angel wing, so, uh, but we can buy medical herbs, uh, I typically don't buy medical herbs. If I do, I only buy just just one and put them on each character. But I usually try to save healing uh, for my healers, and that, that's the best way to uh, level up a, a healer is just by have, uh, having him run around and heal a bunch of weak people. Uh, beca because a medical her a medical herb only gives you one percent of uh, one. XP for using it, and it's not that useful. But for the next couple battles, uh, because of, because at least for this, at least for this first, yeah, I guess these first two battles, I'll definitely need to uh, buy buy these items. So so I will uh, just go ahead and buy those real quick. Said nothing else. Now this this gate gateway will actually be blocked and uh, if you until you talk to the king and you're ready to leave. Now this is automated. You cannot actually control this.
So uh, the way that the way the battles are set up there are in in grids, uh, grid marks. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see grid squares. Each character has its own movement field, and I'll take a look at the main character. See, level one HP is 12, MP is eight, just enough to cast the egress spell, which will take you back, as I said, to the town that you were previously in. Attack 14, defense 4, movement 6, which means he can move 6 squares in most directions sometimes. It depends on the choke point. If you're out in the open, he can move 6 squares in any direction, but it depends on the, the terrain that you're on and uh, what what other things you have around you. That will determine how far you can actually move. Agility is 4. I'm not sure what agility is used for. I believe it's used for dodging, but it's uh, pretty low right now, so that's not going to do us a whole lot of good. You see Kin. Uh, 8 HP, attack is 13, defense is 6, movement is 7, agility is 5, knights and uh, centaurs in general usually have a, a lot of good movement range to them. It's uh, warriors such as Luke and the main character who do not have a, a quite as good movement. You can see Luke here is uh, 9 HP, attack 14, defense 7, movement is 6 and agility is 4, and uh, Tau will have the uh, mag uh, mages and healers will have the, the weakest defense of any of any of your troops and their attack will be the lowest as well usually usually mages have good movement speed later on in the game you'll want to give them movement a bit uh, increase increase movement items uh, but we'll talk about that once I get to those you can see 10, 7, uh, which is enough to cast Blaze twice. Blaze is a fire spell that costs 2 magic points. And so you'll have enough to cast that 3 times. Uh, attack is 8, defense is 4, movement is 5, and agility is 6. And then low here is 12 HP, 10 MP, enough to cast Heal, which is a 3 MP spell three times, attack is ten, defense is five, movement is five, and agility is five. So he kind of starts out movement, d defense movement and agility wise, he kind of starts out middle of the road. Uh, but like I said, defense is usually low for healers and mages, but uh, healers can have a high attack depending on what item you or what items you give them. And then Hans, uh, 12 HP attack, 14 defense, five, movement five, and agility five. Their defense is low, but their attack is high, and they usually have good movement and agility. But you still don't want to put them out in the front lines. You want to put your warriors, knights, and uh, he and heroes out in the front. But we'll take a look look at what uh, enemies we have. So you can see we have five goblins, two dwarves. I'll take a look at the goblins. The goblins will be will have the same stats, so I don't have to look at each individual goblin. It's a goblin. 12 hits, 12 points of HP, 9 attack, 6 defense, movement of 5, and agility of 5 with a short sword. Dark Dwarves, 12 HP, attack 12, defense 8, movement 4, agility 5. These are the these are the enemies that you want to look out for. They can uh, two shot at, at this at, during this battle. They can two shot healers and mages and your uh, archer as well, and then. The Ruin Knight, attack 16, defense 7, movement 7, agility 7. He can definitely one-shot, uh, I believe he can just, just, just one-shot your, your mage. I've never actually had him one-shot a, a healer or the, I think I have had him one-shot, uh, Uh, the what do you call it? The archer once. And now, since this is supposed to be a starting battle, it won't be too difficult. It, it the difficulty is not as easy as some starting battles would be in a game like this, just because of how uh, how low your characters are. But you can see the way that the movement patterns patterns are working. The goblins will stop right where they are. They will not move up anymore to try and attack, so uh, you don't have to worry about that, and I'm, uh, they, they will not move uh, from where they are, and now you can see, uh, if, you, if you remember, Ken has a spear, which is a 
which is a ranged item. It can hit two squares in either direct, and you know, up, down, left, or right. But it can also hit at the corners as well, which uh, a, a weapon like a sword or a an axe or a lance would not be able to do that. So you can see uh, pretty good amounts of damage, and you gain experience points depending on your current level, the current level of the enemies you are fighting, as well as uh, how much damage they they deal to uh, to an enemy. So you can see he only gains uh, eight for damaging him that many times, and it's. Uh, f for these early battles, it's very important that you send your healers and mages to attack. Uh, to attack enemies, either with magic or just by uh, attacking them physically. But uh, when you get into the later battles, you want to be careful. You can see the goblins are doing very little amounts of damage, but you want to be careful and not let your characters, such as healers, mages, or heroes, or archers, get ganged up on, which is being surrounded by multiple enemies. Now, uh, there is something that can happen, which is uh, enemies and your characters can attack multiple times. It's a, a random thing that happens every once in a while, as, as well as dodging. Dodging is something that can happen, uh, but it happens at random. And... Uh, the, the only types of attacks you cannot dodge from are magics, uh, are from uh, spells. And the spells hurt different amounts, so you can see Blaze, just on random, uh, well, uh, just run of the mill enemies, hurts for. hurts for 7. But there are. I at least with magic users, there is a kind of uh, rock, paper, scissors thing where if uh, there are ice spells uh, called freeze that we will get later on in the game if you try to use blaze on a on a uh, spell uh, a mage that uses uses that that type of magic a uh, freeze that will not work as well uh, j just magic users in general usually take one to two points less damage than say a goblin or a dwarf and there are some enemies that we will see later on that will that will be more susceptible to certain spells than others would, such as uh, zom uh, undead characters are more susceptible to fire, and they will there therefore they will take more damage to fire attacks than they would mat uh, ice attacks. And as you can see, they are starting to move down. The the one bad thing, and this is a just what the AI does. They the AI will always go for either your weakest character, such as healers, mages, or archers, or your hero. More often than not, I've had them go after the hero character rather than a mage or a healer, which would be the smart thing to do. And I uh, and and right now you can you can see what I'm doing is. I'm trying to deal damage with my heavy hitters, and then I will then I'll let my my archer, healer, and mage come up and clean up behind. Uh, you know, dealing uh, dealing the finishing blow uh, for whatever for for whatever is needed. I guess I can go ahead and l let uh, Kin kill that goblin. I. You know, goblins aren't aren't doing that much damage, but Ken has such low health, and the dark dwarves hurt for so much, and they're kind of hard to kill, that I really don't need to allow a dark dwarf to sit there and continuously uh, hassle one of my troops. And it's uh, a good a good thing to, to every once in a while take a look at how much XP. Everyone has the way that you level up is by gaining 100 points of XP. So you'll definitely want to uh, take a look at that from time to time. I probably shouldn't have sent sent Hans up here so far, but I'm trying. Uh, but I wanted to see if he could deal a little bit more damage and see, see, see attack twice. Thankfully, he did kill this one dark dwarf. I've never had the Rune Knight come down and attack anybody, so uh, we don't. You, you shouldn't have to worry about that. 
see how much XP you have. Yeah. We'll go ahead. I really should let uh, Low or Tau attack and kill this goblin, but I would like uh, the hero character to level up. It is very important that you that you try and keep a, a well-balanced force throughout the entire game, but if worst comes to worst, you need to ensure that your hero character gets them, uh, stays leveled up more consistently, and there are deadly attacks. I'd forgotten to mention that, but I, I figured we would see one sooner or later, either, either in this battle or the next one. Uh, the, the super attack, or uh, the deadly attack, as it's called, can happen either from enemy characters or friendly characters. More often than not, you'll see friendly character, uh, your force, use a deadly attack or a critical attack more so than an enemy force would. But it, but it has been known to happen, so you uh, definitely want to be very careful. Be careful. I'm not. I'm kind of concerned that uh, that rune knight may move. You, you, you never can tell. Sometimes the the AI can be unpredictable. And I, I believe agility also. Oh, you can see it. Tau is now level two, and uh, their, their their stats will will go up. Uh, at random, sometimes you could have Tau level up to level one, and instead of getting three points of magic, or uh, from, from level one to level two, instead of gaining three points of magic, uh, ah, crap! I was afraid of that, but at least she, at least she leveled up to level two. So, yeah, so that's what I was talking about. You need to be you need to be careful, but you know, I kind of knew the risks when I was putting her out there. I'm afraid that the Rune Knight will get to attack again, but I'd l love to have Lo come up here and kill him. Yeah, let's see, what do you have for XP-wise? Well, oh, I know I'm going to regret this, but I'll uh, try and distract him with... There we go. So as long as Lo can actually do two points of damage, that is something that you do have to be careful of. Uh, Okay, I figured this early on, uh, Low should be able to easily handle handle whatever uh, he needed to. So uh, now, that the, now that the battle's over, there is nothing to, to search here, so we will just move on. And so the earthquake has blocked the road ahead, so we'll have to loop around to the north. And uh, uh, what I was saying about agility is, I, I believe agility also uh, affects turn order as well. So uh, a character that has a, a higher agility, and I'll just take a look at the map real quick and see we have to loop around this mountain and with this mountain we cannot climb this mountain range we have to loop around uh, we can go into the darker hill the, the darker brown hills but we cannot go over this gray mountain range so we'll have to loop around and go across this bridge and then just get to the castle as long as your hero character gets to the castle the, the battle can end immediately so that's something very useful uh, But, uh, ah, there we go. This is what I want to do. I want to go to this house real quick so you can see, Max, do you really want to re retreat from this battle? Yes, so yes, we do. Because not only can I get Tau uh, back, but there is also a, a character that we can get, uh, Gong. I fought the evil of Runefast for many years. I will aid you, so... He is a, a monk, which uh, he is a healer, but he's also a fighter as well. Uh, he's not as strong as a and so even though he does have a portrait, he will not join you right now. He can later on, but he's a utterly useless character, so I, I won't be using him. But you know, this is the priest that I will uh, 
that I'll be using to help raise town. So all you have to do is just look at, look to race, and then uh, they how you determine how much it'll cost to revive a character is based on their level. So Tao is level two, so that's why it costs uh, 20 coins to uh, revive her. But uh, agility also works for uh, turn order. So you know, say someone that has a 10 agility, they're they will usually start first in a battle instead of uh, instead of someone that say that might have a, a six or a seven. But uh, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. You know, I've been going for about 30 minutes. I, I will usually try. I, I, would, I would like to do for this one is at least do one to two battles and then do some uh, in town stuff. And then I'll just uh, either, either usually start right before or right during right as I start the battle. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I thank you for watching. The challenge of the video is how many turns did uh, Hans, I don't know, uh, how, how many turns did Tao get? It seems like she got a lot of turns. So how many turns did Tao get in the last battle? Thank you for watching. Next time, we will start the second battle. So until then, later everyone.